Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the shell stitch a different way. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you all. So we're going to start off with just a simple category for yarn. You can use any color that you want and make your slip knot. Now we're going to chain a multiple of six plus two. So I'm going to chain 32 and then I'm going to add two chains to that for 34. Um, again, you make multiples of six as many as you want, but make sure when you're done to add two additional chains at the end. So I'm going to continue making my chains and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 34 chains and now we're going into row one. So the first thing you're going to do is skip that first chain and make a single crochet into the next chain. You're going to make a total of six single crochets going across. After you've made your sixth chain, you will, I mean your six single crochet, you will chain two. And then skip the first stitch and then single crochet into the next five chains. So this is your pattern going all the way across. You start off with six chains in the beginning. You chain two skip one and then you make five single crochets going across and then you repeat that again and then you do another five single crochets across so you're going to have six single crochets on one end and five in the middle going all the way to the end and then another six at the end so you're just going to repeat this all the way across so now i'm doing another one and i've skipped one chain and made a single crochet and I'm going to make my five single crochets going across and then again once you make your five single crochets go ahead and chain two and then skip and then go ahead and make the rest of your single crochets so when i get closer i'm going to keep going on camera i'm going to show you what to do when we get to the end okay so now i'm chaining two and i'm going to skip one because i still have a few more stitches left but once you skip a stitch then you will have your six left so we'll skip that stitch and then go into the next stitch with a single crochet and then just single crochet six across Okay, almost there. This is the last one. Okay. So now this is row one. And now we're going to continue on to row two. I'll be back. Okay. Now let's start with row two and go ahead and chain two and turn your work. So now the first thing we're going to do, your chain two does count as a double crochet so you're going to double crochet three more into that next chain there do not skip a chain go right into that first chain with three double crochet so you can have a total of four double crochets because that chain counts as a double crochet so now skip two chains and single crochet into the next chain Now 
Now, into that chain space that you made from your previous row, you're going to put seven double crochets into this space here. Now, in a moment, I'm going to speed up so we can get through that. Okay, so I'm making my last double crochet here. And now again on the other side, you're just going to skip one stitch. And go right into the next stitch with a single crochet. Now go into the next chain space with another seven double crochets. And this is just a repeat all the way across. When you get to the end, go ahead and make your single crochet. When you make your seven, skip that stitch and make a single crochet. And then go all the way to your last single crochet with four double crochets. There's no spacing in between, I mean no chaining in between any of these steps. Um, the double crochets make up for the fact that you're skipping chains. So that's why it doesn't scrunch together and doesn't fold in or, you know, start to act weird. Because you're adding so many double crochets here. So now we are at the end of the row. And I'm going to go ahead and change colors. Um, you can change colors the normal way if you want. I just like doing it this way now. I think it looks better. Um, just make sure you cut off your ends. I, I don't cut my ends off when I do it. But you can if you want. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to go ahead and single crochet into the first two stitches. These rows are going to, you're going to repeat, you're repeating these rows. So from row two up, you're going to repeat. So now once you've made your two single crochets, go right into that single crochet that you made from the previous row and make a chain, a V stitch, which is a double crochet chain two and double crochet now once you've made your v-stitch go ahead and skip two stitches and make a single crochet in the third and the fourth and the fifth stitch of your shell stitch now same as before just immediately go right into that single crochet stitch from the previous row that's in between those two shell stitches and make a v-stitch double crochet chain two and double crochet all into the same space now you just repeat that across go in skip two stitches and go ahead and repeat and I'll be back okay so now we're at the end and I'm going to make my final V-stitch that is in between those two shell stitches. Well, one and a half, I should say. If that. <laughs> and then now, once we've done your uh, V-stitch, remember, you don't need to chain. We're going to do the same thing on the left side that we did on the right. And we're going to skip one. I'm sorry, skip two stitches and single crochet into the next two. Now remember your double crochet, the chain from the previous row counts as a double crochet. So you will go right into the top of that chain and make a single crochet. And there is row one, two, three, row three. So now let's go ahead and go into row four. You're gonna chain one and turn. Now, if you want to change colors, you can do that. Single crochet into your first stitch and go right into that V stitch with seven double crochets. No chaining, just go straight into that sh stitch. Oh, I was about to say another word, excuse me. And make your seven double crochets.
And remember, guys, if you don't know how to do these stitches, if I'm going too fast for you for the um, basic stitches, which are the single crochet and the double crochet, I do have a beginner's tutorial that's very slow and it has abbreviations. So now once you've made your seven double crochets, you're going to skip two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch and just go immediately right into that V stitch with another seven double crochets. I have no idea why I did not speed this up. I guess I'm trying to um, stick with you. Everybody crochets faster than some people crochet faster than others. But I try to go as slow as possible. So I'm going to continue with my pattern and I'll be back. Remember, when you're making your stitch, you skip and then you make your V-stitch, single crochet, and your V-stitch. Don't forget to skip your stitches in between if you get lost you can turn back so now I'm at the end here and I'm going to I've done my single crochet my seven double crochets I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to single crochet into that stitch I do not know why I did not uh, cut off my yarn so now we're going into row five so go ahead and turn your work and chain three and then add another double crochet, add a double crochet to that first stitch. This is kind of like your V stitch. So even though I only chain two for a double crochet, you're going to chain three because that extra chain is like making a V stitch. And then in the next stitch, the next single crochet, you'll make a double crochet. So now you're going to skip two stitches of your shell stitch and single crochet into stitch three, four, and five and now immediately go right into that stitch that single crochet in the middle with a V stitch and remember a V stitch is a double crochet chain two double crochet so I'm gonna keep going and I'll be back so now I'm at the end now again, I've already made my single crochets into my shell. Just skip those other stitches and go right into your last stitch with a V stitch. And you see how that's flowing very nice and the edges are nice and even and nice and straight. You don't have any really big bumps in there. So let's go ahead and continue and chain two and turn your work now we are on row six and basically all we're really doing is repeating rows two three and four for the rest of your pattern so you just make three double crochets here because remember your chain your double crochet your chain counts as a double crochet so you just make three here and then skip two well I think it's just one it might be two, but you're going to go right into that middle stitch there and make a single crochet and then go right into your, uh, your V stitch with your seven double crochets. So again, you just keep repeating these pattern, this pattern rows two, three, and four, and then just make your way up as long as you want to make it. It's a great stitch for a blanket, but if you guys have been following me, my subscribers know that I always say you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. I think it would make a really cute jacket. But you pick what you want to use it for. Um, it's a great stitch. It's a very easy stitch. It's a repeat of a few rows, and I hope you guys stuck with me to make sure that you get all of these rows. Because when I was learning it, I was trying to push ahead to see if I can jump ahead. But you can't jump ahead. Go ahead and watch um, at least three rows of this video so that you can get it all. So when you get to the end of that row, you just make four double crochets just like you did 
on the other side. Everything you do on the left, you must do on the right. So I'm not going to continue with this. You just continue repeating your rows here. And I am going to end this video. I want to thank you for watching so much. I appreciate you all and subscribing to my channel. You have no idea how happy you make me when you do that. So please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Creation. Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye bye. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend. Make it boom, boom to the beat. Make it boom, 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 boom. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend. Make it boom, boom to the beat. Make it boom, 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 boom. I'm glad to be alive.